A bad Notion dashboard is worse than a standard Word document. So you're a productivity enthusiast and you're trying to optimize your Notion setup. Well, if you don't fix it immediately, you'll waste months with a system that's actually hindering your success. That's very disappointing because they are not good. I knew it. As a Notion nerd, I've dedicated the past few years to perfecting this tool. But here are the six biggest regrets that I made with my Notion setups over the years. This framework here solved the first issue. It's called the BPTH framework. It stands for Life Buckets, Project, Task, Habit. It's not a great acronym to be honest and I don't think it will catch up. But here's how to set it up in your Notion. We're just going to create three databases very quickly. Create a new database, new database, project, another one. And then here we have life buckets. And what you're going to do is have life buckets connected to projects and projects connected to tasks. What we'll do for tasks here is click on the plus, scroll down, and we will click on relation. And we want the tasks database to relate to the projects database. So I'll type projects and I can see it here. So I'll click on that and I'll do show on projects and click on add relation. So now let's just add some in here. We have project one, project two, project three. Now, if I click here on projects, we can see project one, two, and three. So this task one can be relating to project one. And we'll do the same thing with projects relating to life buckets. Now, what I can do here is right click on tasks for projects and do hide in view. I don't need to see that column here. Now, don't worry, if I click on open here, you can still see it in here. And what I can even do is click on this and say show as page section. So now it's going to show up as a list here. So even though we're not seeing it here, it is still connected in the system. It's still in the back end here. So I'll click on the plus here and do the same thing. Click on add relation. Here we're going to write add life buckets. Click on that, say the same thing, show on life buckets, add relation, and there we go. So if I have bucket one, bucket two, bucket three. Now for project one, I can say this is relating to bucket one and it's all connected. See, before I was just doing random tasks and they weren't actually connected to any major project. And I didn't know how that project connected to a life bucket. And this was my first regret in my Notion dashboard. I didn't have a proper task structure, but let's say you do have something like this, but you're not speeding through your task list. It's because you're measuring the wrong thing. See, right now you're looking at your task list each day. So I'll add in some more task one, task three. And you say, you know what? I'm gonna do all of these tasks Today. So this could be something like write a report. This could be make a presentation. This could be write new resume, go to the gym, film 20 reels and batch cook for the week. So you've got this list and you're saying, you know what? Here's my task list. I'm going to do all of this stuff today. Well, we need to look closer. Enhance it. See, it's possible to do all of this in one day from a time perspective, but not an energy perspective. And this is the second regret I had with my Notion setups. I was estimating time per task, not the energy needed for a task. So what I did was start labeling these tasks. And because we've created a database here, automatically the tags property gets created. What I did was label these tasks. Do they require a flow state? So this is doing deep work. You need full concentration to do that. Is this an easy task? So maybe a shallow task or just an admin task, something like that. Or is it a five minute task? Is it something that I can just do and then it's done and it takes literally five minutes. Now, as you can see, looking at these, all of these are actually annoyingly flow state tasks and it's just unrealistic for me to do all of these flow tasks in one day I might be able to do it one day but then the next day I'm exhausted understanding the flow state will let me plan out my week better now you might be thinking okay I'll plan out my week better understanding the flow state blah 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 but can't I just speed up these tasks here well, you actually can. And I realized if I bring a bucket and an SOP, then I'll have a WAP, a workflow activity process. Sorry to interrupt, depending on when you're seeing this, I have a Notion course that's coming out or it's already out. It's all about how to use Notion for productivity. If you'd like using Notion to be genuinely more productive, then click the link in the description. See in Notion, what we've done is create a database here for all of our life buckets. And what we'll do is actually create SOPs for the different tasks that might be involved. So this bucket here, let's say that's actually to do with work. This is my job. So I can open this up. And what I'll do here now is create a new database 
And this is going to be with all of my work SOPs. So in here, I'm going to start writing down the stuff that I'm doing frequently at work. So if I scroll up here and I can see write report, make presentation, these are stuff that I'm doing in this hypothetical job. So I can say write report, make presentation. And in these, I will then write the SOP on how I actually do this task. So write report, use chat GBT to blah, blah, blah. I'll put the instructions in here. So when it's time for me to write this report, instead of starting from scratch and taking a really long time, I know, okay, cool. I'll just open my work life buckets and in here I have the write report SOP. So I can follow that and the process will go much quicker. See, 97% of organizations had minimal or no digital document processes and SOPs, standard operating procedures, are vital for speeding up your deep work tasks. And that was the third regret with my previous Notion setups. I didn't have any SOPs, meaning I started confused every time I did a task. You might be saying, just because I'm speeding up everything with SOPs doesn't mean I don't want to track my time. Look, 100%, I want to track my time as well. And before, I was doing this in Toggle for a while. Then on pen and paper, I don't know what I was thinking, then in Notion as a separate time tracking database. So I actually had a database called forward slash data, table view, new table, called time tracking. And then I was writing them down in here and I realized, wait a minute, why am I making this separate? I could just do this in my existing database. So up here in tasks, we have two options on how we're going to track time in Notion. Now, first off, I'm going to do forward slash data, click on table view. And then instead of clicking on new table here, I am going to write tasks and I'm going to select this task database. So it's coming up here. So now I'm going to click on the three dots, click on layout and click on calendar. So now I can see this database as a calendar as well. So what we're going to do here is just add report to today, for example, and you can see report shows up here. Let's do the same thing with make presentation. I've added a date to it, so it's showing up here. Now, two ways to track this. We either simply add another column and this column is a number column and we just say time or whatever. And in here, we write the amount of minutes that it took. So I could say this was 60 minutes. And then I know the amount of time it took to do this report. And if I click here, obviously on report, I can see 60 as well. We could even do on these three dots here, click on properties and say time. So now I can see 60 here. Now this involves me doing it manually. I have to write down, write new resume. Yes, that took 30 minutes and I'm physically writing it down. Now my preferred way of doing it is actually clicking on open in calendar and then using a code which automatically adds it up and tells me the time in here. I have a separate video that goes fully into detail about that. I also have that in headquarters, my premium Notion template. This automatically gets shown to me on a time tracking page and is broken down by project and life bucket, which is a game changer. That feature is really useful and has genuinely changed my life. Now you might be saying, but what about me? I multitask, so I can't track my time. Look, I used to try multitasking, but as Will Smith pointed out, the human brain is slow and it cannot multitask but there's a hack. See, for individual tasks, so these ones here, we can select multiple buckets. So I'll say this is work, this is fitness, partner, career. So what we'll do up here is add a new task. And let's say I want to hang out with a friend, for example, with friend. But I also want to uh, get some cardio in, for example. Okay, why not combine these tasks? So hang out with friend and cardio, let's change this to tennis with friend. Now I'm hanging out with my friend, but I'm also getting some cardio in by playing tennis. Now what I'll do is click on the plus here, and we are going to say add a relation, and this time it's going to be to the life bucket. Click on show on life buckets if we want, add relation. So it's showing up here. I might also make this full width. So now for tennis with friend, I can add two life buckets. So I'll say this is fitness and it's also friends. But as you can see, friends isn't in the list here. So I could scroll down and add it in here, or I could just automatically add it in here. I'll write friends, add friends. And now if I scroll down, you can see friends. Oh, new friend. And we can even see all of the tasks that are related to that life bucket. Obviously I can right click here and do hide in view if we want. So now I have two life buckets for this one task. Another example, you wanna go on a date with your partner, but you also want to progress in your career, for example. Why not do a career journaling session with your partner at a cafe? So now we have career and we also have 
partner. Boom, two life buckets, but still just one task. And look, right now you're saying, this is genius, I'm subscribing. And you're saying, I'm going to add everything from everywhere into my Notion. Everywhere? Look, slow down, cowboy. I was doing this. I thought Notion can do anything, and it pretty much can. But like Steven Spielberg trying to build a submarine restaurant, we have to first ask, just because we can build it, is it necessary? See, I was making a Notion CRM of every single dog I had seen in that day. I had a Notion database tracking my liquid intake, another database with my liquid outtake. It was too much. See, the brain cannot keep track of all of these different dashboards. And that was regret number five with my Notion dashboard. I just had added too much to my Notion. But you're saying, I want my Notion to be packed. I want my tasks. I want my journal. I want my habits and my workouts and all of this other stuff, 100%. And you can, but you have to combine them. Then there's less stuff to check which your brain likes. And so does my brain. Our brains are lazy. It doesn't want to play Where's Waldo with your task list. You just want to combine all of this. And that's why I built my all-in-one Notion system for productivity, which you can find here. It has your tasks, your projects, your life buckets, your journaling, your workouts, your time tracking, absolutely everything you could want in the one dashboard. It's got over 1,500 users and a five-star rating. If you found this video useful, you are going to love it.